Welcome back to our program. In today's episode, we are diving into an important topic that has affected countless individuals. The dreaded 810 refund freeze. Many taxpayers have found themselves caught in a frustrating and puzzling situation when the IRS decides to freeze their tax refund. Join us as we explore the reasons behind this occurrence, its impact on taxpayers, and what steps can be taken to resolve this issue. Let's get started. To begin, let's understand what exactly an 810 refund freeze is. The 810 refund freeze refers to a situation where the Internal Revenue Service, commonly known as the IRS, temporarily suspends the processing and issuance of a taxpayer's refund. It can be a source of anxiety and confusion for many individuals eagerly awaiting their refunds. So, what triggers an 810 refund freeze? There can be several reasons behind it, ranging from simple errors to more complex issues. One common cause is when the information provided on the tax return doesn't match the data in the IRS database. This can include discrepancies in social security numbers, names, or addresses. Another reason for an 810 refund freeze could be a taxpayer's outstanding debts. If an individual owes money to government agencies, such as unpaid federal taxes, student loans, or child support, the IRS may decide to intercept the refund and use it to offset these debts. Now, let's discuss the impact of an 810 refund freeze on taxpayers. For many individuals and families, tax refunds provide a much-needed financial boost. It could be used to pay bills, cover essential expenses, or save for the future. When a refund is frozen, it can disrupt these plans and cause significant hardship. Moreover, the process of resolving an 810 refund freeze can be time-consuming and frustrating. Taxpayers may need to gather additional documentation, navigate complex procedures, and endure long wait times on the phone or at our offices. This can further exacerbate the financial strain and emotional stress experienced during this period. Thankfully, there are steps individuals can take to resolve an 810 refund freeze. The first and most crucial step is to contact the IRS directly. Taxpayers should reach out to the IRS helpline or visit their local IRS office to initiate the resolution process. The IRS will provide guidance and inform taxpayers about the necessary actions to take. In some cases, taxpayers may need to provide supporting documents or additional information to address the issue causing the refund freeze. It's important to be patient and follow the instructions provided by the IRC. Resolving an 810 refund freeze requires cooperation and communication between the taxpayer and the IRS. While it may not always be possible to prevent an 810 refund freeze entirely, there are proactive steps taxpayers can take to minimize the chances. 